I am Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasundaram. In this quick video, we will discuss about newborn screening in premature babies. So when it comes to babies more than 34 weeks gestation who are stable, there is no difference from a normal baby. You proceed with the newborn screen once the baby is on full feeds by 48 hours or above. In a very premature baby, there are two issues. One is that the baby is sick and sometimes they don't feed for a length of time. And the other issue is the results of some of these tests on the newborn screen may be different in a premature baby. So you have to balance the risk of delaying the newborn screen and plan uh, an alternative or you may have to repeat if the tests come abnormal. So if it is an extreme premature baby below 28 weeks, many units do the newborn screen even on day 1 to 2 and send that sample. The second newborn screen is done before discharge. Uh, in a baby who is 31-32 weeks and they are likely to reach full feeds within a 5-7 to seven day period, it's reasonable to wait for that period. You send the newborn screen by 5-7 to seven days and if the baby needs a transfusion before that for any reason, you consider taking the sample before that. You should have a clear system in your unit where it's triggered that if a baby needs transfusion, you check about the newborn screen. And the other thing you would remember is to take a uh, extra sample for any tests that may be needed for metabolic reasons before you transfuse. So uh, once the baby reaches full feed, we take the newborn screen in such babies. Unless they need a transfusion, you take it beforehand. And these babies do not necessarily need a repeat sample before discharge if the initial newborn screen is normal. There are some parameters like uh, TSH may be slightly high in the premature babies. Uh, you may have 17-hydroxyprogesterone which is high often in the smaller preterm babies and you may have to repeat it before discharge as well. The uh, extreme premature babies may have uh, physiologic hypothyroidism which may not be picked up on the initial newborn screen. So you may consider doing a thyroid function test around two weeks of age in the extreme preterm babies, uh, especially if there are other clinical concerns as well. So the main thing is to understand that there is a difference between the regular babies and the premature babies and you have a system in your unit as to when you do. Where if you do it twice with the insurance pay for it, that agreement has to come as well and now with DRG in most of the places it wouldn't matter. So you have to do what is best for your unit practice as well as what is uh, best in terms of not missing any test results. And whenever you do newborn screen, like in any other case, you have to have a system where the results are fed back to you in a timely fashion so we can have appropriate action. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.